What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Life Behind the Wheel. Today's how-to video is going to be how to drive a 10, a 13, and an 18 speed transmission. It's pretty simple. All you got to remember is flipping it and splitting it. So, your 10 speed won't have a switch on the side right here. Your 13 speed will have a red switch, 18s will have gray like mine. So, you got your clutch right here, just like in any other vehicle. If you hold your clutch all the way down to the floor like that, it engages the clutch brakes, which stops the transmission from spinning and allows you to be able to put it in gear when you're stopped. All right, so this is your high and low range selector. You flip that up whenever you get through your first set of gears and you leave it. This is what splits your gears in half. You'll be in the bottom side of a gear, you flip that forward, you're in the top side of a gear. So all the way over and up is reverse all the way over and down is low low and if you can't get into, into into a gear just let the clutch out a little bit and it'll spin and it'll let it in so we're going to start out double clutching so you guys can see how that works and then once we get up onto the interstate i'll start floating the gears and show you guys how that works so we're starting out range switch down splitter backwards come to a rolling stop just hold the shifter into the face of the gear that you want it to go in and she'll slip right in obviously while holding the clutch down halfway you don't want to push it all the way down that stops the transmission spinning and also when you start out on a hill you want to engage the clutch first where you feel the truck lift up then start to let out clutch gear clutch neutral clutch gear and I'm heavy right now that's why it's acting a bit of a fool clutch neutral clutch gear just remember that as long as you remember that you'll have it so now flip the range selector up clutch neutral clutch gear and so now with a 13 speed or an 18 speed this is where you start splitting it so we're in that gear Push forward on your splitter, let off the pedal, and then back into the pedal. And then you're into the next side of that gear. And now to down shift, split back, rev it a little bit, it'll grab it, and then you're there. What I normally do is I'll gear down until you're in the fifth hole on the low side, come out of it, drop your splitter, and then just hold it into the face of a gear until it falls in. Right, so here we go. So now I'm going to start floating the gears. So what you do, you go, let up off the pedal a little bit, out of the gear, and into the one you want to go to. So we're in it, let out, pull back, and look, you can just drop it right in. You don't have to fight it. If you're grinding, you're doing the wrong thing. So select her up, out of the gear, into the next one. And now we're going to start splitting 13 or 18 speed, like that. Back, drop it back into the gear. Split, out of the puddle, into the puddle. Now you're going. Now you can flip it back because you know you're about to shift into your next gear. Get up to speed, out, over, and up. Uh, see how I missed it right there? You just give it a little bit more pedal. You just hold the shifter lightly against the gear face and you can tell what it's what it wants to do. If it's spinning too fast, grinding too fast, let out the pedal a little bit. If the grinding slows down, that means you're getting close and it'll slip in. But if it speeds up, then you're totally off. And it just takes some getting used to. I've been driving this truck for a year now and I still mess up sometimes. So now we're up to speed here. Bring the splitter back and watch. That's all. 
just be as smooth and steady. You don't hesitate and know where your gears are and you'll be perfectly fine. And now if it was a 10 speed, you do the same exact thing except you don't have a splitter when you get to the top side. And that's it, now you're driving. So just remember, when I, and whenever you do your test to get your CDL, you have to double clutch. They don't want you floating gears like that. They don't allow that. So just always practice, and you gotta do it quick. Clutch, come out of the gear, clutch, gear. So clutch, neutral, clutch, gear. And you don't push it all the way down, you gotta practice putting it halfway. The halfway point is where the clutch disengages from the transmission and it's free spinning, and you push it the rest of the way down and that engages your clutch brake. And now you're driving. And if you have an automatic, you press your brakes in, you turn a lever, you hold on to the steering wheel, and you drive down the road. But that wouldn't be the point of this video. Everyone have a good day, like and subscribe, and tell me what else you guys want to see.